Shalom, Shalom. Call Hello Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Akakwadash. Double honor to Elder Apostle Great Millstone. And peace and salutations to the elect other nation of Israel and to you speckled bird Israelites that are scattered abroad that look like the heathen nations to y'all. Say Shalom. And shalom to all you brothers and sisters that may be listening and learning to these videos. And Shalom to all you brothers and all you Akim. It's out there in the highways and byways doing the work of the Lord in these latter times. Shout out, wake up the elect. So y'all say shalom. And um, I also wanted to say that this video is for the Israelites only, the elect, right? The elect is who you, uh, uh, the Israelites who you call today, so-called black, so-called Hispanic, so-called Native American, um, so-called Puerto Rican, Dominican, Jamaican, Haitian, um, Guatemala, the Panamanians, those are Israelites always have been, always will be. Um, and basically, I'm just doing like an in transit, like a, a pre cap video. Um, I want to talk about um, how, you know, um, you got this video, this dude, uh, what's his name? Brandon Ingram. He's supposed to be like a, a pastor or something like that. Um, and he's, he's like a Jake pastor, of course. Um, but basically the video is about him demonizing the camps which it's prophecy that that will happen and that it's going to happen right when we get demonized we will be hated of all men but what does the scripture say let's get that in, uh matthews chapter five right because he named all the camps like not just gms see for these other camps that's lollygagging or they do they uh doing stuff to get likes and to get follows and views and they think that they're not going to be a part of that persecution your ass can be a part of it too iuic isupk you know all you cats that be doing weird stuff um try to get this real quick in matthews <clears throat> matthews i think it's chapter five right <clears throat> It says, um, where is it? It's uh, Matthew 5, chap Matthew chapter 5, chap verse 10. It says, Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Right? And verse 11 says, Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my name's sake. Now, I know there's another video going around or circulating um, uh, uh, around about basically uh, IUIC in Mississippi and uh, Jackson, Mississippi um, calling, you know, one of the elders of uh, GMS Mississippi. Um, he called him a rapist, you know, and it was, I think it was concerning a video that the elders and apostles was on from a, a couple years back you know, with uh, that uh, that weirdo, uh, polite, you know, whatever his name is, you know, <clears throat> and they was going over the scriptures concerning rape, right? Nobody in GMS is doing that, right? Nobody's doing that. Nobody has got arrested for that. So that's false accusation right there. But the scriptures say, blessed are ye with men shall say all manners of uh, things falsely, you know, for, for how it shall say. So, um, you know, it's, it's prophecy, man. You know that they will say stuff like this, man. And, 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 and you know in that society, you know, rape is, is a bad thing, a real bad thing, right? Um, and you know, like I said, there's scriptures on it concerning it, right? You know, Deuteronomy. I'm not gonna go to it, but there's scriptures on, you know, basically of how to deal with it when it happens, basically. Um, and you know, depending on how it takes place. You know, you won't get a punishment for it. That, it's in the Bible, right? Like I said, it depends on how it takes place. Like, I know it says something to the effect of, uh, you know, if a woman is basically betrothed or she's married, you know, you commit adultery. But if the woman has never had a man go inside her and you, uh, you know, you, you take it and rape her, you know, uh, like I said, if she's, if she's never had a man go inside her, so she was a, a so-called virgin or whatever, right you basically uh 
like if you take care of rape her, you gotta take care of her. But and you gotta like pay like a dowry, and you know you gotta do other stuff. But you don't. There's nothing really bad that will happen to you if you do that. If, if you do it to a woman that's not married, you know. But of course, you know we don't do that in our society. And uh, a lot of times, how we would we would basically get married in the ancient world, you know, we wouldn't just go around raping people, raping women. But it it does happen, you know. Um, a lot of times when we would get married, you know, to a woman, we would uh. You know, and the ancient wild women were different. Hey, the men was, you know, we was on a higher level back then. You know, a lot of times we would have arranged marriages and the fathers would do them, not the mothers, you know. And uh, the women wouldn't have no choice in the matter as far as if she liked him or not. I'm not saying he's on rape her. I'm not what I'm saying. But, uh, you know, if a man wanted a woman, you would basically go to her father. You wouldn't just, you wouldn't rape her. That's not what would happen. But, that's why I said there's scriptures on rape, basically. You know, it's not a rape doctrine. There's scriptures that speak on it, what to do if it happens. But normally, like I said, you know, um, if it was to happen or, you know, when we did get married, which sex is marriage, right, we would go to the father and basically say, oh, we, you know, I want your daughter or this and that. That's how it would go normally. And then you had to pay like a diary or you had to do some work for the father and then he would let you get his uh, daughter. That's how we usually go. So we wouldn't just go around raping people. And like I said, nobody in the GMS is doing that. Ain't, ain't nobody got arrested for that. But, but you know who did get arrested for that? Or was accused of that? Polite. So, hey, you know, it's not no coincidence that that happened. Everything is set up by the Lord. Everything is, uh, you know, <clears throat> everything is ordained by the Lord, man. Get that, let me get this in uh, Galatians chapter 6 real quick. Um, Galatians chapter 6. Galatians chapter 6 verse 7. Right? It says, Be not deceived, for Yahweh by Shemiah is not mocked, but whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. So, you know, that dude, polite, who is like a, I think he's like an Egyptologist or he believes the black woman is God and all that, you know, he was basically accusing the elders and apostles of GMS for actually doing that, which they have no proof of because they're not doing it. You know, they're not, they're not going around doing that. <clears throat> um, you know, um, but he ended up being accused for, I think it's, I, I think it's happened, what did it happen last year or something like that? Or early this year, something like that. I could be wrong, but I know it was, it was recent. And he went to jail and everything. I think he like supposedly had sex or something with his girlfriend's daughter, something like that. She was underage. That's considered pe uh, pedophilia in this society. But ain't nobody saying nothing about that no more. But they keep bringing up, oh, GMS is rapist. Man, get the hell out of here, man. You know, we ain't, we're not going around. We're not going around doing that. You know, what do we need to do that for? We don't need to do that. <laughs> you know, and, and uh, especially with the video of IUIC calling that uh, calling the elder of uh, I think his name was Kazak, Elder Kazak from uh, GMS Mississippi. Hey, IUIC going they gonna catch hell for that man. That the Lord will do something to them. You know, because that's a uh, that's a uh, you know uh, slander, and that's a uh, bearing false witness because you didn't see nobody do anything. You don't got no you don't got no proof and no police reports on no brothers doing that. You know, you ain't got no proof of no brother doing that. You know, so that's you just saying that. You know, because we brought out scriptures, you know, concerning it, and it was the truth. You know, uh, we know how weak the society is. They can't take people, can't take nothing. You know, what's that uh, scripture? I think it's in Galatians. Uh, here you go, Galatians four sixteen. It says. And I am I therefore become your enemy because I tell you the truth, right? We 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 are our own people's enemies, man. Because you know, in the ancient world, a lot of our people they put the prophets to death. They put our Lord Yahweh shot to death. So if back then most of the most of the Lord's people put him to death back then, the actual Lord and the prophets, how all of a sudden in this time period, this age that we're living in. Oh, everybody's gonna love the Lord. Everybody's gonna come together. Everybody can be saved. Everything makes sense. 
You know, that is not biblical. Everybody don't love the Lord. Everybody's not gonna follow the Lord the right right way. That's how you know Christianity is false. That's not the that's not the, the way. You going into the bride way, All right? Let's go to uh, Matthew seven and uh, thirteen. Right, Christianity is false, man. Like that dude, like I brought up in the beginning of the video. His name was like uh, Brandon. I, I, I might be saying the wrong name. It's it's something Ingram, something Ingram. I don't, I'm thinking of Brandon Ingram, the basketball player, but I don't think that was his name. I think I think his last name was Ingram, but I don't remember what his first name is. I don't give a damn about what your first name is, cause you wicked, man. You want to be you want to be a pastor of a church that Esau's uh, controlling, and you want to be you want to be on this devil side, man. You over here accusing the uh, accusing you know brothers of doing stuff that they not doing or saying that we evil. Right? And you jakes that want to stand in society, you love the so-called white man so damn much, and you're going to die with him because his plans is to chip everybody, man. Yeah, I said it. That's the MOTB. It's not nothing else. You know? That's his plan. So, you you jakes, that th you thinking that you're going to prosper in the society, you're going to be here for another 50 to 100 years, your kids' kids is going to be here, and you're going to pass down generational. Well, get the fuck out of here. You ain't going to be into none of that shit. You want to stay in this society so damn bad that you want to be equal when the Lord said we was above all nations. You want to be equal with the with the devil. How does that even make sense, man? You 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 chase you, you want to chase a bag. You, you gonna be chasing that chip soon, you know? Because they're about to collapse this economy, right? And we everybody knows that every at the price of everything has went up, and it's not gonna go go back down. It's not gonna be. Life is not going to be how it was prior to the pandemic. It's only going to get worse from here on out. It's going to get way worse. Right? All them apocalyptic movies, you know, that you've seen, you know, that that, that you've watched, that's going to all come to life. But it's going to be worse than that because that's just a movie. Right? Living it is, is something else. Right? You know, living it is something else. Because the, the Lord said, um, we coming into the worst time ever. Right? Jacob's trouble. Um, let me get this scripture real quick. This is Matthew 7 and uh, 13. It says, Into ye and at the straight gate, this word straight means a position of difficulty, right? For wide is the gate, it says, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. You see? So if you really a servant of the Lord, right? And you know Christians say that J word, which is not his name, right? <clears throat> You know, you're you going you to have to be prepared, man, to lose your life, to be falsely accused. And the Lord, you know, got the spirit on brothers, elders that have been doing this thing for years. You know, he going to put the spirit on them in that day to endure all this, man. You know, because they already been enduring all this long. So, hey, what what can, what more can they not take, you know? What can they not endure? You know, because they got the spirit on them already. You know, Lord willing, it stays on it. Um, but the uh, rest of the scripture says that many there be which go in there at. So a lot of people, they going into that wide, that wide gate. You know, they gate, oh, oh, God loves everybody. Oh, you know, you can give your life over to Christ. That's not even his name. I hate why IURC says that, man. You know, you can give your life over to Christ any day you want. No, <laughs> you don't have the options to do anything. Right? The Lord controls your spirit. How are you going to say Oh, you gonna give your life over to the Lord today? No, it don't work like that. You know, it don't work like that. Um, and the Lord has to choose you, man. It says in the book of John 15, he, it says, you have not chosen me, but I have chosen you out of the world. Right, that's exactly what it says. So Christians is twisting it around, saying that you can give your life over to um, the Lord. You know, no, it, they lying. And the scriptures say, man's going to the Lord. So, that's, it's, it's so many scriptures that cut, you know, when Christians be saying that you can give your life over to the Lord, or, you know, you can, you can, all you gotta do is say you accept him as your Lord and Savior, you're gonna be saved. No, where is that at? And it's not in the Bible, man, that's not scriptural. And it's not scriptural at all. You know, that's something that's, uh, that's a man-made doctrine, that's what that is, Right? And Christians, they don't want to go through nothing. You know, Christians don't want to go through nothing. They think that, like I said, it's going to be a smooth ride. Like I said, that's that wide gate. You know, you not want to go through nothing. You not being tempted. 
the Lord said, um, what he said, Sarek 2, and 1, um, what he said, <clears throat> Salakia, it says, my son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation, All right? Set thy heart, many your mind are right. So basically, you got to basically accept it, man. And constantly endure and, not, and make not haste in the time of trouble. So, hey, when you say the Lord, you're going you gonna to have, uh, Salakia, you're going to have all types of hell come your way when you're serving the Lord. You know, all types of hell, you know. Ain't that going to be no cakewalk, man, because I know ever since I, the Lord woke me up, I'm going to have one of all types of temptation, especially mentally, you know, that I didn't have before I knew I was Israelite. Like, I was not going through temptation, you know. Yes, brothers might have went through certain things when they was in the world, but it, it, that level of temptation or you going off intensifies, man, because you're trying to do right. And the majority of these people, since they think that they already doing right, they're not being tempted like you. They're not uh, being messed with, so to speak, spiritually, like how you are, because you're, you're going down that right path. The scriptures say, um, you know, uh, it's, it's, this truth is like fire and water. On the, I think it says on the right hand or left and second edges of the seventh chapter. So that's a lot of things that you got to go through when you're in this truth, man. That's not a cakewalk. So, you know, we're expected to be hated, you know, defamed, demonized, all of that stuff, man. So we ain't surprised to it. And the elders and prophets, they knew this was going to happen. And it's been happening to them, you know. Um, and we'll, I don't want to be a part of this damn world anyway It's, it's wicked, it's evil the, script, the scriptures say love not the world So if you love the world You're going to choose what the world does You're going to choose to accept their ideologies And you're going to be with the majority That's if you love the world But if you don't love the world You love Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai You're, you're going to be an outcast You're not going to be um, I don't even know if this is a word An incast You're not going to be with the rest of the, the rest of the world You're not going to do what they do You're going to do the exact opposite of of what the world does, what people accept as normal, you know, like being the alphabet person. That's not normal, man. You know, a rainbow dude, <laughs> you know, that is not normal. You know, the Lord don't accept that stuff either, right? And the Lord don't want you taking no, no jabs. He don't want you uh, putting, uh, making an incision in your skin. You know what I'm talking about. The Lord is not with none of that, man, you know? So, um, yeah, man, I hope this video was edifying, man. I just wanted to do, like, an in-transit, like, pre-camp type video because it was just, you know, on my spirit. And uh, I'm going to try to do these a lot more, you know, um, Lord willing, you know, because, hey, be prepared, you know, brothers and Akims, even sisters, too. I don't mention sisters enough, but um, be prepared, man, for turbulent times, man, because it's only going to get rougher. But the Lord got you if you were probably like, Lord willing, I'm in that uh, number, Lord willing, you know. So um, with that, you know, I'm going to close out. I'm going to give all honor and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Akakwadash. Um, double honor to the eldest possible great millstone. And Shalom to the elect. Wa'ababa Ba'ashim.